Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Today I'm going to explain REST parameters in JavaScript. REST parameters is a parameter prefixed with three dots. They allow a function to work with a variable number of arguments by bundling them into an array. It's very similar to the spread operator, which we talked about in the last video. The spread operator expands an array into separate elements. REST parameters do the opposite. They bundle separate elements into an array. Spread will spread an array into separate elements. REST parameters will bundle separate elements into an array. It effectively does the opposite. How could REST parameters be useful? Let me give you an example. Say we have a bunch of different food. Const food1, food1 equals pizza. We'll create a few different food variables. Let's start with four. Food1, food2, food3, food4. We have pizza, hamburger, hot dog, and sushi. I'm going to create a function that uses rest parameters. It's going to output all food that I send it. We'll pretend that we're opening a fridge. Imagine that all of this food is in a fridge. Open fridge. Fridge short for refrigerator. To use rest parameters, I need three dots. We're going to stick all of this food into an array. But what should the array name be? Let's say foods. That's descriptive. Then I'm going to console dot log my array of foods. Now I'm going to call this function open fridge. I will send this function a variable number of arguments. This method is going to display an array. We have food one pizza. Food two hamburger. Hamburger is also within our array. Food three hot dog. Food four sushi. Let me add one more food. Let's add ramen. Food 5 will be ramen. Then I will add food 5. You can see that I can send this function any number of arguments that I would like. This function is designed to accept any number of arguments. I could combine this function with the spread operator. When I'm displaying my foods array, all of these elements are in an array. But I could separate them back into separate elements by using the spread operator which is the same three dots as the rest parameters. Rest parameters are used as parameters. The spread operator is used whenever you have an array or any sort of collection of something. So now when I combine the rest parameters and the spread operator, I can display all of my separate elements. You can even use rest parameters to stick all elements within an array. So this time I'm going to create a separate function to get food. We will use rest parameters. Our array name will be foods. All we're going to do is return foods. Take all of these separate elements, stick them within an array, then return that array. So I'm going to create a new array. Const foods equals call our get food method. Pass in a variable amount of arguments. Let's pass in food one food two, food three, food four, and food five. And then we got to display it. Console.log my array foods. So that's how the rest parameters can be used to combine elements and bundle them into an array. Then if you want, you can return the array or do whatever you want with it. Let's go over a second example. We'll create a method to sum a bunch of numbers together function sum. We will use rest parameters so we can accept any number of arguments. Our array name will be numbers. What we'll do within this method is have a result. Result equals zero. We'll keep track of the current sum within our result. I'll create a for loop to iterate over our array. For every let number of numbers take our result plus equals the current number. And then we are going to return our result. Now we'll have const total equals invoke our sum function, pass in as many numbers as we would like. Let's start with one. Oh, then I should probably display the total. Console.log, I'll use a template literal. Your total is 
I'll add a placeholder, total. Your total is $1. Let's add a few more arguments. Two, the total is now $3. Three, $6. Four is 10. Five is 15. Let's create a function to calculate an average. Let's copy our sum function. Let's name this function get average. All we have to do when returning our result to get the average is divide our result by the length of our numbers array, divided by numbers dot length property. That will give you the average. So now const total equals get the average. Maybe these are test scores. One student got a 75, another got 100, another student has 85, 90, and a 50. Let's console.log the total. The average is 80. Let's go over example three. You can use the rest parameters to combine strings together. We will create a function to combine strings. We'll send in a title like Mr, a first name such as SpongeBob, a last name, Square Pants. He's the third. We still need to make this function though, but const full name equals whatever string is returned. All right, let's work on this function. Function combine string. Let's make this plural strings. We need to use rest parameters. Let's name our array strings. An easy way to do this is to return our array of strings and use the built-in join method to join all of the strings together. But we'll add a space between each string. All right, we should now have a full name variable. That's all of the strings combined. So let's console.log our full name. Mr. SpongeBob SquarePants the third. That's one way in which you could use the rest parameters to combine a bunch of strings into one, such as if you're creating a full name. All right, everybody, so those are rest parameters. They allow a function to work with a variable number of arguments by bundling them into an array. It's the opposite of the spread operator. The spread operator expands an array into separate elements. The rest parameters bundle separate elements into an array. And well, everybody, those are rest parameters in JavaScript.